These smooches were best saved for a rainy day. Hey guys, it's Phoebe. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. Today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 TV kisses in the rain. Are ya? We're taking a look at some of the best kisses from television shows that took place in the rain. <laughs> Warning, spoilers ahead. It doesn't show any signs of stopping. No. Should we run for it? Well, you're the boss. <laughs> Number 10, Scott McCall and Kira Yukimara, Teen Wolf. This supernatural teen drama featured several rainy day kisses to choose from in a single episode. And while Styles and Malia's was tempting, we went with the kiss between the eponymous adolescent werewolf Scott and his kitsune love interest Kira. With Kira having been away in New York, Scott is worried that she may have moved on after some miscommunication between them. Yeah, I just said, uh, you know, don't worry about anything, just go and have fun. No, you, did, you told her to go have fun? What? What's wrong with that? Nothing, nothing's wrong with it, just, I don't know, that can be interpreted a lot of different ways. Like what? Well, like, don't worry, we're not exclusive, go have fun with other guys. However, when he arrives to find her in the middle of a stormy traffic jam, the pair reunite with a passionate and thoroughly drenched lip lock, putting his fears to rest. Did you have fun in New York? Not really. Good. Number 9. Miranda Hobbs and Steve Brady – Sex and the City Miranda is quite cynical about love and relationships, dismissing romantic cliches like happily ever after and kisses in the rain. And they got married and they moved to Connecticut and he is this amazing husband and father. Never happened. Excuse me? Urban relationship myth. Unbelievable fairy tales concocted by women to make their love lives seem less hopeless. Her disbelief is especially strong after she meets Steve, a bartender who becomes her husband later on in the series, by the way. After meeting and having what she insists be a one-night stand, she's convinced to give him another shot, only to push him away again at lunch with her friends. Can you for one second believe that maybe I'm not some full of shit guy? That maybe I do like you? That maybe the other night was special? Do you think that maybe you can believe that? No. However, when her cynicism is seemingly proved wrong, Miranda leaves the restaurant, which is named Denial as it happens, and rushes after Steve to apologize and kiss him in the rain. Steve! Steve! Maybe I can believe it. Number 8. Richard Castle and Kate Beckett – Castle Writer Richard Castle and Detective Kate Beckett have a charged relationship from the moment they meet. However, one of their biggest blow-ups occurs after Beckett continues pursuing the men responsible for her mother's death, despite the danger involved. This prompts Castle to confront her about their feelings for each other, leading to a fallout. And I love you, Kate, and if that means anything to you, if you care about me at all, just don't do this. If I care about you, Castle, you cut a deal for my life like I was some kind of a child. However, a near-death experience forces Beckett to reevaluate her priorities while sitting in the rain. She then shows up at Castle's door and immediately kisses him passionately, finally turning their will-they-won't-they -they relationship into one that had fans cheering with a will. Beckett, what do you want? You. Number 7. Nathan Scott and Haley James – One Tree Hill a kiss in the rain is a rare and beautiful thing for most couples. Not so with Nathan Scott and Haley James. These two kissed in the rain practically once or twice a season on One Tree Hill. Because you're looking really hot standing out here in the rain and I'm thinking, I have to kiss you. Whether they were recovering from a near-death experience, making up or just making out, Haley are easily the couple on our list to kiss the most while in the rain. Yet the sheer number of times they do so does keep them closer to the bottom of our list, since it makes each individual instance stand out less. Even so, the number of steamy, drizzly kisses is still rather impressive. You wanted rain. <laughs> Break my arms it is not possible to be this in love. <laughs> number 6. Alex Russo and Mason Grayback. Wizards of Waverly Place 
Teenage female wizard Alex Russo starts dating Mason Greyback, a British exchange student with a passion for art who seems perfect for her in every way. That's what I do. I take famous moments in American history, and I imagine what they'd be like from the point of view of canines, because I'm in love with America. And dogs. However, Mason's artistic enthusiasm for dog puts Alex off a little, and she uses her magical powers to make herself the source of Mason's inspiration. I blow through this shell and I become the artistic muse for whoever hears it. He'll want to paint me as me instead of a chihuahua. <laughs> the chihuahuas are so cute! Yet Alex soon realizes, with some advice, that this isn't the way to Mason's heart, and she removes the spell, leading to a kiss in the rain that washes away a mural Mason painted of her though thankfully not the prospects for their relationship. <laughs> Number 5. Ted Mosby and Robin Scherbatsky – How I Met Your Mother Ted Mosby falls hopelessly for Robin Scherbatsky practically from the moment they meet, and spends most of the first season of How I Met Your Mother, and longer than you'd expect after that, trying to win her over. I'm crazy about you. I think we should be together. What do you say? When Ted learns Robin is going on a company camping trip with a coworker who wants to date her, he learns to do a rain dance in the hopes that it will rain and the trip will get canceled. A rain dance? Dude, that's not a rain dance. That's a fat kid with a bee in his pants. <laughs> Thanks to the contrivances of television, this actually works, and Ted and Robin become a couple at last, sealing it with a rainy kiss. Why? Why? Because I made it rain! That's what I did today! And that's enough! I I've done my part, now get down here! Number 4. Ross Geller and Rachel Green – Friends Another big will-they-won't-they -they couple, Ross Geller and Rachel Green rarely get on the same page. The first season sees Ross pining as he has for years after Rachel when she comes back into his life. However, a trip abroad sees him return with a new girlfriend, and their roles reversed, with Rachel pining for Ross. Well, I'm on a date with a really great guy. All I can think about is Ross and his cat and his Julie. <laughs> a drunken phone call leads to Ross being made aware of this, and he and Rachel have a heated confrontation at the coffee shop that apparently ends with Ross storming out during a storm. I'm with somebody else. I'm happy. This ship has sailed. Okay, so what are you saying? You can just sort of put away feelings or whatever the hell it was that you felt for hey, me? Hey, I've been doing it since the ninth grade. I've gotten pretty damn good at it. All right, fine. You go ahead and you do that, all, all right, right, Ross? All right. I don't need your stupid ship. Yet he lingers at the door, and when Rachel opens it again, their passionate kiss is the stuff of TV legends. Number 3. Arya Montgomery and Ezra Fitz Pretty Little Liars. We're crazy. You know that, right? <laughs> I know. So how are we going to do this? We can't spend the rest of our lives on sidewalks in the rain. Speaking of tumultuous relationships, Arya Montgomery and Ezra Fitz have quite the roller coaster romance, with most of the drama stemming from the fact that they began it while he was her teacher. While taking a break from one another after Arya's parents discover their relationship, which they naturally object to, Arya leaves several voice messages for Ezra, asking if he still wants to be with her. I really don't want to think about us being over, but you know, whether we are or we aren't, it's something that we should discuss face to face. So meet me tonight at 8. They reunite in the rain and share a kiss that stops traffic. While we can see why some would object to such a relationship in real life, their kiss here is a diverting fantasy. Number 2. Jim Halpert and Pam Beasley – The Office This office romance swept us all off our feet. Jim Halpert and Pam Beasley are perfect together, and we all knew it from the moment we saw them, even if it took a while for them to both figure things out. It's so rude of me. Have you seen um, Pam's new art? It's right there. Check it out. Once they started dating, it was only a matter of time before Jim popped the question. Pam pursues art school, leaving her separated from Jim and both of them feeling lonely. When they agree to meet halfway at a gas station in the pouring rain, Jim asks Pam to marry him. What are you doing? I just... I can't wait. Oh my god. While the locale isn't a traditionally romantic one, the pouring rain and their happy kiss still manage to give the moment a great mood all the same. Before we gently embrace our number one pick, let's take a look at some swoon-worthy honorable mentions. I'll 
always love you no matter what happens. Mm. Number 1. Damon Salvatore and Elena Gilbert – The Vampire Diaries A vampire love story for the ages, Damon Salvatore and Elena Gilbert have plenty of obstacles standing between them and happily ever after, both magical and mundane. One such hurdle is a case of missing memories. Elena tries to remember a certain memory when the two of them watched a meteor at a lake and were caught in a rainstorm. I remembered something out there. Just. Bits and pieces, but um, there were these stars, and then it, it started to rain. Although she can't recall anything more, and Damon tells her they left after it started raining, in truth, they shared a passionate kiss in the rain and promised to be together forever. Come on, time to have been a shift. No, 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 wait. Just give it a second, it'll clear up. The Office, giving us unrealistic expectations of love since 2005. What did you guys think of our list? Let us know in the comments below and check out these videos.